Hello, and welcome to another episode of Brickcast My Thoughts On. So no matter where you work, there are cool managers, uptight, pain-in-the-ass managers, and in some cases, really useless managers. This is going to be about the useless managers that I have at the place that I work. I'll not be using their names. If I have to, I'll use different names, nor will I say the name of the place I work as I don't know if they monitor my Facebook and or YouTube, so just to be safe I won't do any of that. So as a recent, I've been pretty fed up with the managers at the place I work. Now there are three of them, and only one of them in my opinion actually works for their salary. The rest just sit in their office and make other people do the shit that they should be doing but are too busy watching porn to do. I'm just kidding on that last sentence. They don't sit there and watch porn. It was just a joke. So my first story goes like this. So one day I'm on my lunch at like 6 p.m. or so. Not too long before the bakery begins to pull and close things down. And I go over there to get a donut from the donut case. I like my cream and custard filled donuts and I really wanted one. So I see one I want, grab the wax paper thing and I open the case. Now, when I open the case, I see all these little itty bitty bugs flying around inside the case, and a few come out of the case uh, when I open it. Now, I could tell you that I thought this was very much disgusting and just uh, yuck to me. And I can't imagine what a customer would say if they saw this. So, I close the case, put the wax paper back, and I go pay for my other things I was getting for my lunch. On my way to the self-checkout, I spot one of the store managers actually outside of their office, so I go over there. I tell him that I opened the donut case and I saw bugs in it. So he goes over there and I go on my way. After my lunch, I see that manager and I ask him if he saw them. And all he tells me is that the bakery had already taken the trays out, so there was no more bugs in there as of now. But he told uh, the bakery to give it a good clean. Uh, Now, I gotta say, that's some pretty pathetic managing right there. But this guy is pretty much the top of the useless managers at the place that I work. Now, my second story, or second part of the first story. uh, The next day on my lunch, I go back over there to see if anything had been done. I open the donut case and the same thing. Bugs everywhere. So, heading back to buy my stuff at the self-checkout, and again, I see another manager. Not the same one as the previous day, and I say the same thing to him. His response? He just shrugs at me and says, it happens. So then, after my lunch, I'm on the self-checkout, and so I walk over there and I tell the person working in bakery about it. They tell me it happens every summer, and that they've gone to corporate about it, and they've And all corporate has told the bakery is that they're clearly not cleaning it well enough, which I don't know how true or false that is, so, you know, I can't say. So now I've decided not to eat the donuts in the donut case, and to only eat the prepackaged ones because I feel that the ones in the case are not safe, and clearly management is not doing a damn thing about it. So, if they want a lawsuit because someone gets really sick from eating bug-ridden donuts, fine by me. Because I've told them two times now, and the next time, I'm going to go and see if there are still bugs in there, and then I'm going to pull out more drastic measures that may piss off the managers even more. But I don't care. Honestly, don't understand how these managers think they can just sit in their office ignoring the rest of us regular employees, and then when a concern comes up, they do absolutely nothing about it. I know that not all managers are like this, and I wish that... At the place I work, we had three managers who actually worked for their salary, and not just one of three managers that worked for their salary. Anyway, that's all I have to say, so if you want to add to the conversation, leave a comment below. As always, thanks for listening, and goodbye.